everyone, I am Pepino here with a little invention that I've been working on. This is a, uh, like about a 10 shot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, a 12 shot TNT cannon. Ideally, if this works, you will get to launch uh, 12 pieces of TNT through the cannon before you have to reload. Uh, built out of obsidian because it's blast proof in case something goes wrong but alright this is in beta testing so uh, this is the first test of this and I don't know how it's gonna go uh, but what I'm gonna do is flip the switch turning it on and go stand on that platform and watch alright here we go now should launch the TNT. Oh wow, that's more powerful than I thought. But all right, here's the second one. Boom, two. All right, here comes number three. There we go. Looking like it's working good so far. And here comes number four. Wow, that is a lot of power behind that. And here comes number five. Oh. Alright, something went wrong there. Hopefully it's nothing too bad that's going to ruin the rest of them. Ooh. Um. Something may have gotten messed up inside the cannon, not sure. Yeah, I think, I think something blew up somewhere. Yeah, fix this quick. Yeah. Uh, okay, so something blew up inside the cannon. Uh, something was damaged by the blast. It's alright. Uh, I'll fix it in the uh, next design, but for a beta test, I think this is pretty dang good. Alright, well, the last one kind of blew up some stuff. But that's alright, we can go turn off the machine. The design can use a little work. But, uh, so far, looks pretty good. So that is my 12-shot TNT cannon. Now I'll show you how to build it. The one thing I forgot to show you that I designed is this sand uh, pickup system. You may have noticed uh, afterwards you have a lot of sand that you would have to pick up by hand. Well, not quite, because... You can just get rid of all the sand, except for right down on the end here. That you're just going to have to uh, get rid of by hand. Oh, actually, there's supposed to be one more piston here. It must have been damaged in the blast. But, uh, okay. So there is a sand removal system for both sides. And the sand is not just below the platform. It is gone. So, uh... That's how you get rid of the sand. I'll show you that later. But all right, now on to how to build everything. Okay, here's how this is supposed to work. You have this switch here powers the entire thing. Now, goes up here, it powers these three things. The first thing it powers is this, which uh, will deactivate this torch and deactivate these, which will activate these two torches right here so you need this to be uh, deactivated this middle segment here of redstone which will activate these three torches powering these six pistons now the pistons are powered using uh, this here basically uh, a torch here will power this one and it will send power to the block above and below so you can have one block down, a torch, another block. Then you can have two blocks here in the middle because there's a torch on top and bottom. And then if I want to have a, another block on top of the torch, it could power the sixth piston. And now, see, that's where it ends, though, because if I add this, it doesn't work. But I would need to add another torch. So you can have one block on the bottom then two blocks in between you can have as many uh, pistons as you want uh, I went with six just because it seemed like a good number 
and uh, it was easy enough to build. Alright, the second thing this switch will power is this, which carries the current through here onto uh, this piston, which will uh, push the TNT here, and this TNT will be the projectile that fires out, hopefully, uh, if you've done it right. These are the power, this is the projectile. Alright, we'll get to all this later. Uh, but this one needs to be on a delay. I have set uh, a delay of um, three uh, full three uh, repeaters with full delay, so a total of 12 ticks of delay there. Uh, we can try some other delays later if you really want to. But alright, the third thing that this powers is this, which will make a pulser, uh, which will push this, it will cut off the circuit, dispowering all three of them, then it'll dispower this so it'll retract then the circuit will be open again and the cycle continues it powers on cuts off the circuit which powers itself off which opens the circuit which powers itself on and it just keeps going uh, turning on and off this needs a ton of delay because this entire process and the TNT blowing up all needs to happen in between each pulse Otherwise, it will get backed up, and your machine can blow up, and it's not very good. So, uh, you need a lot of delays. Uh, you could have more. You can't really ever have too many delays for this part of the machine. Uh, so, as many as you have room for, that's what I would do. But, alright. Now, on to these. Uh, what we have is endstone. Oop, we're missing some pistons and redstone here. Alright, uh, what we have here is uh, endstone above redstone. Now the reason I used endstone is it's the uh, most blast proof block that can be pulled by pistons. Actually, let's destroy this. And you can see it's above redstone. So that's going to be for at the end, when this whole thing is full of sand, you just flip this switch, the end stone pulls back, the sand falls onto the redstone wiring, which turns the sand uh, from the block form into the little like form you can pick up, whatever you want to call that. Uh, and that's easy, that's the easy way to get rid of all this sand without having to destroy it. Now the sand is obviously for when this pushes out, the sand will fall, and then uh, allowing the piston to push the next thing a TNT, and so on and so on. So you need a lot of sand above this, and you need at least like 10, 15 pieces of sand above that, uh, as many as you're going that way. That's how much sand you need there. But alright, so that is basically... Uh, how this works, build out of obsidian if you can, because uh, in testing there is a decent chance that you will blow up a lot of stuff and have to redo a lot of things. Uh, I did when I was messing with it, trying to get the right design. It blew up a couple times uh, and everything. So uh, just build out of obsidian if you can because then you won't lose your platform. But, alright, so let's have some more fun with TNT. Alright, uh, just a couple more quick notes that I've learned through testing. You're going to want to make sure you cover up this redstone wiring completely so that uh, if the TNT cannon doesn't shoot uh, quite as far as you want, because occasionally it only shoots to about here, not quite sure why, 
Uh, but then that will uh, blow up the redstone there, which will uh, retract the pistons under there, making the sand fall through, and making the cannon not work. Uh, and another thing is, uh, it could possibly help you to make this first row here something besides TNT, probably end stone, but not TNT or sand, because then when you get to the end, it will uh, reduce the chance of it blowing up your thing completely. Or you could just back up your save and uh, try it. But anyway, let's see this in action again. And there we go. This is I am Pepino saying thanks for watching and hope you learned something. Remember to subscribe for more awesome videos and we'll see you next time.